Hey YouTube, this is Brian from Tech It Tomorrow. What I'm going to be doing for you today is showing you a video on essentially how to use MSI's Afterburner software. This is really neat software from MSI. What it does is it allows you to tweak your video card settings and actually set up different profiles for those settings. So what I'm going to do now is go into the software and show you exactly how to use it. Okay, what I've done for you now is I've opened up MSI's Afterburner software here on a computer in our test station. So now I'm going to show you how to use it. As you can see, it has a very nice graphical user interface. You start with what video card you are using, and that will be featured up here at the top, and underneath that you'll have your driver version. Now what's neat about the software is you can use any of either NVIDIA's or AMD's video cards, and it doesn't matter what manufacturer they are. They do not need to be MSI manufactured video cards in order for you to use the software. Okay, here at the top is your core voltage bar. You can change your core voltage from this bar and set it to where you need it for your overclocking. Underneath this you have your core clock, so you increase or decrease your core clock speeds. Underneath that is your shader clock, so you can control your shader clock. Now what's nice about this feature too is you can link or delink your core clock and shader clock. What this allows you to do is as you increase your core clock, it'll increase your shader clock incrementally as well. So what that does is it allows you to increase or decrease both at the same time. Underneath that is your memory clock and basically same thing, you can increase or decrease your memory clock from this bar. And then underneath that is your fan speed control bar. You'll see over here on your right hand side you have all of your settings that are being recorded. You have how much of your video card is being used, your temperatures, fan speeds, and your clock speeds all here on this right panel. This right panel can also be completely detached from the rest of the program itself just by hitting this detach tab at the top. So you see that and you can detach it and put it where you want. Very very nice, very very easy. Here as well at the bottom of the program you have your profile settings. You can save profiles for each setting that you set up. So as you set up a, uh, an overclock setting you can save it as a profile. So let's say you have a profile that's set up specifically for benchmarking. You can set that up as profile one. Let's say you have another one that's set up for strictly gaming. You can set that up as number two and so forth. It's a very easy to use and navigate piece of software and you'll see that it's it's very simple through settings what you can also do is you can set up your fan for everything uh, that you need it for in other words you can move your fan speed settings to increase or decrease based on the temperature of the card itself really really neat feature monitoring can also be set up so that you can log the history in a file somewhere on your computer so it'll continue to keep track of your temperatures. Your screen display can also be changed. Screen capture can be set up. Video capture can even be set up. Here's where you have your profiles and how those are set up and your user interface can even be changed as well and you can even change the language if you want. Well this has been an explanation how to use MSI's Afterburner software. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something and don't forget to subscribe.